I'm Matt Gill, I'm the COO of Torstone Technology. The last 12 months have been pivotal for, for Torstone, for, for our growth. We've had the most significant growth in the history of our company, and we've really continued to scale the company globally in, in, in many different ways. And much of this was based on the success of bringing in some very significant new deals over the past 12 months. The ones that we can name publicly uh, include Tower Research, uh, which is a very interesting new client for us. It's one of the leading liquidity providers in the world. And we're working with Tower to, to move all of their processing, all of their flow globally onto the Torstone platform, which is a, which is a really significant and interesting uh, project uh, for us. Uh, again, across all asset classes that um, you know, the Tower is active in. We've also uh, signed up and are working with uh, Davy, which is part of the Bank of Ireland group, the leading uh, uh, broker in, in Ireland, and that really extends our, our European uh, footprint as well. So really interesting new clients, others you know, that, um, that as well. I mean, we're working with new clients on projects in all the three regions that we, uh, that we operate in, in North America, Europe, and Asia. So we've been very busy, uh, but again, it's, it's phenomenal to work with new clients and uh, you know, bringing new ideas to the table and, and taking that forward. In relation as well to, uh, to that, we've also made significant progress with our product roadmap um, over the past 12 months, and uh, specifically working to extend our cross-asset coverage out to digital assets and, and cryptocurrencies, which is now very much a part of our portfolio, and then also including working uh, in partnership with, with a digital custodian that uh, uh, is part of our part of our network now too. So we've also been working with scaling the platform and we're very, very excited about some of the benchmarks that we've done this past year where we've actually proven out that we can handle over 70 million transactions in a three hour processing window, which is, we think is phenomenal. We think that's setting a new benchmark for trade or post-trade processing on the cloud and, and really we're just looking to take that forward. The other significant progress you've made is in the middle office. And uh, we see that obviously here at, at Cybos, there's a lot of discussion around T plus one in North America, and you know, with a lot of focus on settlement cycles, we think that automation and, and more improvement in the middle office is absolutely critical to, to moving that agenda forward. So we put a lot of focus on our middle office. So all in all, it's been a tremendous uh, 12 months um, uh, behind us. Well, this industry, I think as we all know, is incredibly siloed uh, by operation and by technology. There's been a recent industry study that's shown that for a you know, large organization, they have over nine post-trade processing platforms in operation, which is, which is a significant number. Now, our platform, by architecture, by design, is cross-asset and has the capability of handling not just securities, equities, and fixed income, but also derivatives and, uh, and cryptocurrencies. And so the ability to handle cross-asset operations on one platform, we think is significant. Also on top of that, we are multi-entity, multi-geography. We're truly global and with one standard operating model. And so the ability to work with clients who want to consolidate their trading operations and their post-trade flow onto one platform with one operational view to their users and their clients we think it's very significant and uh, it's frankly very unique in this industry. Another very interesting thing for us increasingly, especially again here at Cybos with all the talk about T plus one and settlement cycles is that we are a real time event driven system. And so we have the ability to again be processing intraday and you know, get people away from, from batch processing. We really think that there's a significant challenge out there if you're talking about settlement cycles uh, with the, uh, the plethora of batch processing that still exists in this industry. And so, for moving forward, this industry needs real time. And that's something that we intrinsically provide with our, with our platform. And last but not least, we are fully cloud deployed uh, on AWS, our strategic global platform. We're the only post-trade platform that is fully deployed on AWS. Uh, and that's something that you know, we, we think brings a lot uh, to the table. For 2023, for Torstone, it's all about continuing to scale our company to be able to support our global clients. You know, we grew this past year over our team by over 50%. It's a very significant growth year. We absolutely aim to continue that growth and again to improve and, and extend our, our capabilities because frankly, the industry, our clients and the industry at, at large is facing significant challenges 
this year. You look at the macro trends of inflation, you look at volatility, you look at all the, the macro risks, it is a significant challenging time. And frankly, so much of this industry is still running on batch processing on legacy systems. And we're convinced that there is a better way with real-time processing. You know, truly batch processing represents a huge amount of risk, both operational risk and capital risk that a lot of financial firms are still carrying today. And we think that the next year, truly given the move to T plus one in the North America in the coming years and all the macro environment and the challenges, that this truly is a watershed moment for when institutions are going to be looking at their legacy, making decisions to move to new digital platforms, take advantage of the cloud, and we really feel the next 12 months is going to accelerate that. So we're very excited about the next stage and looking forward to being at the next IBOS in Toronto next year, you know, working with a lot of new clients and, and really helping the industry move forward.